Hi Church, welcome to today's devotion, part of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. We are seven days away from the end of 21 days, an epic feat already and not long to go. Uh, my name is Darren, one of the pastors at Audacious Church and I want to look today at two scriptures as we, as we look at praying for disciples and leaders. These two scriptures both give us incredible insight into what it is to be a disciple of Christ. Luke 2 verse 52 says, And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favour with God and man. And Proverbs 4 verse 5 says, Get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget my words or turn away from them. When I was younger, I used to love getting my report card not being on report that's something entirely different when i was in trouble but the report card that all your teachers filled in to say how well you were doing your grades effort and often a small paragraph of encouragement i enjoyed seeing the expression on my parents faces of delight and pride in the two verses above we as disciples are encouraged to firstly walk in jesus footsteps and grow in wisdom and stature to grow means to become larger or greater over a period of time, developing, increasing and changing, maturing in our faith, going deeper in our relationship with Jesus, increasing intellectually, stronger emotionally and physically. As a disciple, we are encouraged to do this as Jesus did. Secondly, Proverbs tells us to get wisdom, get understanding. It's a pursuit where we attain, achieve, obtain and experience. Disciples go after wisdom and understanding and make it a daily part of their everyday lives to grow and go. Let's determine today as disciples of Christ and leaders in life to walk in Jesus' footsteps and grow in wisdom and stature and to follow Proverbs wisdom, to get wisdom and get understanding. As we do, we will bring a smile to the face of our Father God. We will become stronger and healthier, healthier physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually growing as disciples and leaders. Take a moment now to pray for these five things. Ask the Holy Spirit, number one, ask the Holy Spirit to help you grow in wisdom and stature for insight and ideas and the strength to make any changes you need to make. Secondly, pray for your friends that as disciples, they will grow. Pray a protection over them. Thirdly, Pray for your leaders, your team, ministry and small group leader, the people that you are looking up to and following in life. Fourthly, pray for the leaders in your world, at work, school and country. The Bible say, tells us in 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 to 2 to pray for those in authority. We are urged to. Timothy says, I urge you then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and for all those in authority, that we may live peacefully and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. And then fifthly, the fifth thing to pray for, pray for our senior pastors, Glyn and Sophia. Let's pray for, our, for their family, pray for protection, strength, health, favour and blessings. Love you, church. Let's continue to pray for these things throughout 2024. Have a great rest of your day and see you at the end of 21 days of prayer and fasting.